Okay, you guys. What the fuck? It's Reese! Okay. Okay, guys. Yes, thank you, Phil. Anyway, you guys want to see something that absolutely is going to keep you up at night? Like, what do you think is more terrifying? Finite or infinite? Isn't that kind of fucked? Thank you, Phil. Phil agrees that it's kind of fucked up that, like, Finite and infinite are pronounced two completely different words, but yeah. Anyway, what's more scary, having infinite space or finite space? Let's learn how time um, doesn't work when you are not on a planet, which makes learning the path a little bit more difficult, which is like, that's why you need to know the path. You're going to get lost in the son of a bitch. Think of it as like in Mario 64, like do, 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 when you have to go up those stairs to try to get the Bowser, but if you haven't done the right things yet, or if you don't know the cheat on how to get up there, uh, you just run up the steps and you never get any closer and you turn around and it's just like, oh, I'm still at the bottom of the steps. What the fuck? It'll just have music being like it's a shit like that, right? We're gonna learn why time what the fuck like everyone likes to be like, you know, time is a concept and it's not real and it's shit and it's just like you don't understand what what it might look like outside. You ever thought about what looks like outside? Brought to you by the makers of how to turn a sphere inside out. Um, but not with them people with that relationship. I, 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 I already checked this out, so we're good. We're good. With Have you ever wondered how big the universe is? How many stars are there? Does space go on forever? The answer. Also, this is from Tamara Munzer. I'm not sure what the channel's about, and I don't know if they just like uploaded. A, did they upload a bunch of these? Because like this would be great studies. I want to check that. Give me a second. Plenty of fucking different things. Ooh, lots of scientific -y stuff. I like it. I love. I like it. Oh yeah, we're gonna. I'm definitely coming back to this. I love shit like this. Visualization. Is, fuck yeah. You got playlists, bro. Geometry centered videos. Can I add them? Just give, just give me the goddamn playlist. We have things to check out because I definitely like this. But yeah, I'm gonna credit this dude every time because I don't think it would be fair for me not to. You know what I mean? One video is unavailable. That's cool. This is a lot of scientific -y shit. Which I, wow, some of these are really long. What? So some of these, I don't know. what they need but hell i'm always up for learning something i can get sharpened up on some geometry i need to anyway until further notice well no that oh, okay that was a genuine itch either way we i'm this is going to be fun this will be funsy anyway let me say the shape of space uploaded by tamara munzer good person get you a like there we go depends on the shape of space Let's explore some possibilities. These are the ugliest There's an stars. interesting star. <laughs> They're so 90s. It's silly. This star looks familiar. I swear we've been here Haven't before. Haven't we been here before? I'm so confused. What's going on? What Daddy. kind of space is this where we keep seeing the same stars again and again? It's easier to explain in a two-dimensional universe than a 3D one. Right. But what would a 2D universe be like? Inky, blinky, and flat. Flatland. Oh, one's a puppy. Life in two dimensions has its problems. I didn't when realize two I was flat a puppy before. want to pass one another, they can't go around each other or to the side as we would, since they can't leave the plane. 
Our athletic flatlanders must jump over one another to continue on their way. Okay, sorry I was talking, but what the guy was, like, technically saying, in case you didn't get it, because, like, I have a mouth, um, D, this is 2D, and, and, and if you remember how Mario works, if you run into something, you can't exactly go through it or around it, you have to kind of jump over, right, so the same rules, it's Mario's rules, it's 2D video game, or at least a Let's Play demonstration you know what i mean so here it's like it's showing that this is 2d in order to show us the f why the fuck we keep running into the same shit in space what's going on how come i'm not getting anywhere right the flatlanders live on Excuse the one-dimensional surface of their two-dimensional planet just as we spacelanders live on the 2d surface of our 3d planet the flatlanders planet is orbiting a sun their sun is a two-dimensional disk, just as our sun is a three-dimensional ball. Like ours, their sun is just one of many stars in their universe. Mm -hmm. Let's watch the Flatlanders Close explore the door, their please. universe. Thank you. They head straight off into space and are surprised to come across their own sun. Perhaps their universe is a sphere, and they took a trip around its equator. Or perhaps it's a cylinder. Or a torus. Each of these surfaces is a possible shape for a two-dimensional universe. Note that we have taken advantage of our three-dimensional space to see something that two-dimensional flatlanders can't see directly. Let me see if I can find something really quick. Hold on a second, because I think I can find that video, because I think it would be, like gives a little bit. I think it gives a little bit more of how we should be looking at this. Morn. 14.15. There's them. There's Mars. Okay. There's the rest of them. Right. But then we turn it this way. And now we. Now it's going. Look at go. Look, 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 look at the universe. Why are you playing music like. Like, I won't get copywritten, you son of a bitch. Hayumi and Maki Maki. All of them. Look at them all. Look at, look at, look at the beauty of the, of, of these planets. Spinning in a goddamn circle as they're traveling. In a spiral. Isn't it interesting how everything always ends up being a goddamn fucking circle? Like, where are you going in space? You're going in a goddamn fucking circle. It doesn't matter. That's the word. This thing is going... We're going with it, wherever the fuck it's going. Probably in a big ass circle, like like the fucking people in the, in, in the goddamn like thing. That's what I want to show you. It's moving. Look at the, look, 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 look. Does that look, 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 look? It's all it's a bobbly up and down, but it's still in a goddamn fucking circle. It's a circle. That, that, that that's what I, that's what I, it's, it's always a circle. The universe is a, 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 a we're in an eternal spiral. We're not. A, a, fuck this planet. There's no escaping this goddamn universe. But pick where you want to go if you can find a, a, somewhere to call home. I reckon. Similar way, four-dimensional people could draw three-dimensional universes in their space. Yeah. But that's another video. Uh huh. We three-dimensional people can see them without the fourth dimension. We can visualize 3D spaces using only three dimensions for our drawings. We first try to understand a Flatlanders universe without the extra dimension. Suppose their universe is a torus. We'll save a copy of it. Not the torus, the bowl, but a torus. Cut the torus then. once and deform the it into a cylinder. Donut. Cut Why it is again. It? Why is it called the torus instead of just a fucking donut? Anyway, my bad. And open it into a square. Right here. My bad, guys. <laughs> Cut my the bad. torus once. Cut the torus And once. deform it into a cylinder. Okay. Cut it again. And 
and open it into a square. Mm -hmm. This square is a fundamental domain for the Flatlanders universe. We now see their universe using only two dimensions. Right. The Flatlanders can still travel about their universe as before. When looking at a fundamental domain, we must imagine mm -hmm. that its edges are glued together. Anything leaving one glued edge returns at the other. The way we glue them determines the shape of the space. It's like the game Portal. It's, it's literally the game Portal. Like, I, the, most of this, I already watched this before, but most of this is like Bioshock Infinite, Portal, the movie Cube. Like, the second movie was interesting. Fuck the third one that's supposed to be a prequel. That was just fucking stupid. But the fir very first one... Especially when it, the one part comes up, you'll see what I mean. But a lot of influencing, very much, that I've learned from uh, video games and certain movies that are called classics that most normies won't under... Much like Primer. And I can't tell you anything about Primer, because it'll literally give away the movie. But if you really want a good mind fuck that makes you go... And you have to watch it over and over again in order to understand what's going on, because it's going to bother you until you figure it out. But I can't tell you why it's going to bother you. But if you really want something that's going to make you, like, it, it figure out if you're smart, which it, it, after, like, halfway, I, well, I'll say once you see their handwriting, you'll understand the movie. But Primer is a great It also explains what to do with all of that space that w went whatever, but it makes sense. It doesn't matter where we put the cuts. We need cuts to draw the fundamental domain, but they don't really exist in the space itself. When our cut passes through the Flatlanders, they don't feel a thing. What do the Flatlanders see in this universe? Their line of sight travels around the universe, and they see the back of their own spaceship. Like the Flatlanders themselves, their line of sight can't leave their two-dimensional space. Mm -hmm. They see what appears to be a copy of themselves. Mm -hmm. Indeed, they see images of themselves in many directions. This tiled picture shows what the Flatlanders see and that their universe is boundless. They'll never reach an edge. Can we say multiverse theory? Incarnate, not the actual thing. But look at all of those possibilities, kind of like Neo in that room with that Kentucky Fried Chicken looking dude, the Colonel looking guy. But he wasn't the Colonel, he was like... computer colonel guy. I don't remember what the fuck he was, but I just know he was a dude and he was a dude in a white suit, but he doesn't make chicken. But, like, it, it reminds me a lot of Neo in that room. It, 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 it still results in the same fucking thing. Don't it? Yes, it does. From the picture of the single fundamental domain, we see that their universe is not infinitely large. It contains only three stars and one spaceship. It's finite. Neither picture alone gives the full story. By combining these two pictures in your mind, you can get a better understanding of the true nature of their space. Now we're ready for three dimensions. Take a cubicle block of space. We'll use this for our fundamental domain in three dimensions, just as we used a square in 2D. Okay, just to make it clear. There are two stars in here, not three. It's just this one's in the middle of this, in the middle of the cutoff, is what it is. But there's only two stars. We glue the left and right walls. Now the spaceship can travel around this finite universe, passing the same stars again and again. We glue the top and bottom. I still see an ass. And finally glue the back to the front. Now the space has no boundary and the ship can travel in any direction. Mm -hmm. This space is called a three torus. 
Let's ride the spaceship inside the three Taurus. Like, what Even the fuck the am I looking at? Finite, Why is there so many? We have the illusion many? of flying in an infinite space. There are only two stars in this universe, but we see each one over and over. like about like scientific mathematical shit it's not about whether or not it's right or it could teach us something or tell us the truth about things it's supposed to open your mind and make you think that exists somewhere and I don't know if I'm in it or part of it but it definitely makes me think you know it, it, and that's what it is you gotta think sometimes because you don't think hmm but you don't want to overthink either, because overthinking is not healthy for you. Mm -hmm. This isn't the only possible shape for space. Before we visit another 3D universe, we'll look at the corresponding two-dimensional space. Its fundamental domain is again A square. This time we glue the left and right sides with a flip. This surface is called a Mebius strip. Mebius? When the spaceship takes a trip around, it comes back upside down. The flip makes a difference in the shape of space. A second trip restores it to its original condition. Let's watch the trip again on the original square. Now glue the top and bottom of the square with no flip. What do the Flatlanders see in this space? Looking up, they see the bottom of their own spaceship. Mm -hmm. Looking forward, they don't see their ship right in front of themselves because of the flip. Their line of sight keeps going across the bottom. When it wraps around a second time, it's flipped again, and they finally see the back of their own ship. The Flatlanders have the illusion of seeing a reverse copy of their universe, followed by a regular one. They see infinitely many images of their universe, half reversed and half not. Ain't that fucked up? So now it's working like an eyeball. <laughs> what if we do this in 3D? Two pairs of faces connect as in the three torus. To make the flip, connect the top of the right face to the bottom of the left face and vice versa. Now think about that, think about that. If it's a torus or even a cylinder, even a sphere. It's come back full circle. And you make a Mobius. 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 Shape, right? Like the infinite symbol, infinity symbol. It works like a fucking eye. And the way you see it, things the first time is upside down. Then in your brain, flips it right side up. So you, it can register what the fuck it's looking at. <laughs> so when it goes from a circle, it just keeps going. But if you make it into the infinity symbol, it becomes an eye. The implications. Think about it. Take your time. After one trip, the spaceship appears mirror reversed. After a second trip, it returns it to its original mm -hmm. state. Let's see what this space looks like from the inside. As in 2D, we see infinitely many images of our ship. Half our mirror reversed. Half or not. When Ain't that we roll, stupid? Our reversed images roll in the opposite direction. Life in this space is different than in the three tours, where all the copies of the ship move in the same direction, like a flock of birds. We fly this way 
and see ships in neighboring rows flying in the opposite mm -hmm. direction. The mirrored images turn as we do to fly along paths that seem to cross ours, but they can never hit us. That's impossible in this space. We've looked at only a few of the many possible shapes for space. There are other ways to glue the walls of a cube together. Or instead of a cube, we could use a different shape for the fundamental domain. The space we saw at the beginning of this video was really a three torus containing only 96 stars. This space is finite, but boundless. Astronomers face similar possibilities as they try to understand the real universe we live in, whose shape is still unknown. Mm -hmm. It is much larger than the simple spaces we've seen in the video and contains vast numbers of stars. But the same principle applies. What seems to be a star in a distant galaxy could be our own sun. The light we receive from it could be light which left the sun billions of years ago, traveled around the universe, and is just now completing its trip. If we can someday find a pattern in the arrangement of the galaxies, mm -hmm. then we will know the true shape of space. Hmm. Look at that special effects. Ain't that great? But yeah, that's what that was. I thought that was very entertaining. It's just like, I like geometry stuff because it's like... Definitely gives some aesthetic effects. see the book The Shape of Space by Jeff Weeks. Come in. Why does it seem like this is pushed all the way over here? That's awkward. Now you don't need to be that close, but okay. Hmm. I can't tell if it's more terrifying to think of space as infinite or finite. I really, I saw that. I love the sound effects from the 90s. So mysterious. Space not being infinite, but instead just looping is much more terrifying. Oh yeah, this is, a, this, yeah, this is the same people made the sphere inside out. Mm, this is a damn good demonstration of the real universe could actually be smaller than the observable universe, especially near the end where they, literally explain it this is a very interesting movie the rest of the series as well too bad there isn't more as a physicist i value imaginative explanations why are these more comforting and more educational than ones nowadays right glad no flatlanders no doubt they didn't need to be hard Mm. Staring back at the clock, waiting for science class to end and sleeping through the video. 2020. Oh, this, 1995. Now we're in 2023. This is the coolest thing ever. I can't look away. I don't care why this video feels so comforting and fascinating. I loved when the three Taurus opened up to view all of the repetitions, not to mention the sound of the Taurus unfurling sounded like it was going to be a song for something. No doubt! That's what I... Th fuck yeah, I thought that shit too. I was really... Nah, 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 nah. This video feels like it's from a different universe. Right? It's like little things. Hmm... See, I always thought there was like a bubble or outer layer to the universe. But being finite and boundless makes sense now. That'll also kind of make the whole the earth is in a dome thing make a whole lot more sense. But it's literally a lot of shit in the dome. That, but that makes so much sense then, doesn't it? Maybe we're all going in a circle. Because we're stuck inside a ball? I mean, yeah, that would make a lot of fucking sense, actually. That would make a lot of sense. I 
I don't know what this video is about, but it picked my brain in a way I haven't felt from anything in a while, and it felt amazing, didn't it? Isn't it nice just to have something stir your imagination and get you like, huh? I don't have a reason to argue against this. This is too interesting for me to, like, sit here and be like, huh? What, what about, oh. Okay, but what, oh. Oh, this is portal rules. Never fucking mind. I'm gonna shut the fuck up and just watch what you're doing here. You know. Because once, it, honestly, if you play Portal, you you learn just to sit and shut up and figure out how this Portal works. Because it's like, okay, so how does this one work? Someone's getting shot up in a jump shot. Someone's going to jump off the edge of something just to get, like, launched over somewhere and somehow not break a, a leg. Hmm. I need more of this. I loved every second and learned something important. Kind of shocking to think our universe possibly being like this for the first time in our life. In part with the Mubius universe blew my socks off. Great video. I love watching mathematics and physics videos on LSD. Goddamn, like, you're brave. A fairy theory is a movie's theory shaped universe. For some reason, I can really imagine the universe on a weird wobble. Although I can't find any example of the shape in nature, which means we believe it's less likely, but still a very good theory. What did someone say to that? Well, it's about something like a Klein bottle. It's a movie strip, but in the 3D space. But when you have to find a way to kind of turn that inside out, since it's shaped on the inside, not the outside, I don't know. That the out, like that's way too much thought for me. Mm -mm. Anyway, that's what I found. Hope you enjoyed the lesson.